here. Want to look around? Uh, I don't think she wants to. Mayu. She's flipping out. Mayu. Don't touch me. junk. Someone over there. Yeah, might as well head towards that way. Let's not get separated. Yeah, well maybe if you'd walk faster it wouldn't be a problem. Ugh, I, I love these touches they did to it. All the, a bunch of these cutscenes they had in there originally, they've all been modified, and they've extended them, I just, I was getting tingles watching those cutscenes, just because of how much I love this game, and to see it, you know, to be improved, it's just awesome, I love it. And it, even, it was nice enough to give me a little map up there, which is freaking awesome, a little mini-map. I don't really need it, I, I know where most stuff is, but still, awesome. Something's on the floor. A torch. I, but, how's that a torch? It's a frickin' flashlight. <laughs> I, I don't know, is that what they call it? I mean, you got me. Is that what they call flashlights over in Europe? Torches? This is something, at least. Like, these, that cutscene, you know, just her saying that was not in the original. When she pulls back the blinds, just, uh, you know, those little curtains, whatever, those things, the doorway, just to see, you know, a ghost walk by. That wasn't in the original either. Ah, uh, sorry, someone's messing with me. Let's see, hidden items light up when a uh, yeah, torch is showing up. Yeah, okay, so this is something that is different to uh, Fatal Frame 2. It's new, I should say. Um, in the original Fatal Frame 2, you did not have to shine your light on items to make them appear. Uh... Items were just automatically shown, but uh, they, they this is like Fatal Frame Four or uh, Zero or I, I, it's not Zero. It can't be Project Zero Zero. But um, in Fatal Frame Four, they introduced this where you had to shine your light onto items, and they added this thing on. But basically, you have to you walk up to add suspense to picking up items. You you hold down the A button. Oh wait, no. Do I want it? Maybe no. Uh, I, uh, oh, okay, I'll take it. Ladies, notebook three. Masumi, it's Miyako. I came to find you. Let's go home together. If we're together, we can make it out of here. If you find this note, please shout. I'm sure I'll be somewhere nearby. I'm sure of it. So she's here looking for her boyfriend or husband somewhere or something. Else. I know it. Like, who does that? Who goes around and carries a journal with them at all times and leaves all these notes? Like, what's this? Not about the size of a person is covered with cloth. Oh, it's a mirror. The mirror has been protected by a cloth cover, and it gives a flawless reflection. Okay, what was the point of that? That is totally... T <laughs> not was in... Oh, you can actually go out here? Sweet, you couldn't go out here in the original one. I'll try not to, you know, say that all the time. Like, that's not in the original, but, I mean, there are some... I'll point out major things. Collected water is stagnated in the font. Uh, pretty sure... 
I don't want to drink out of that. There's a door here? Or is that... Okay, that's not a door. That's a... Window. <laughs> out of the way, use the useless sack of crap. <laughs> uh, like five minutes in and I'm already cursing out my sister. Amazing. So we got the flashlight, but there isn't really anything else in here. So... Let's move on. Uh, well, you know the I, I like the the British accent, you know, or the English accent. It's, it's quite different. Figure headed towards this room. Could it be waiting behind this door? I don't know. Why don't we see? Oh, I have to hold down the A button. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna get the courage to do it. <laughs> I'm retarded. Oh, look, no one's there. Disappointing. All manner of items are scattered around the dark room. It doesn't seem as if anyone is there. Here. Whatever. This place, it's a bit strange. Just a bit. Alright, hold down A. I, sometimes I really find this annoying, having to hold down the A button to pick it up, because they pick it up so freaking slow. I digress. A page ripped from a notebook is lying on the desk. Then why do you show a picture of a whole journal? Eh, anyways, I keep hearing this strange sound coming from near the altar. It's kind of a song echoing from up underground. Could it be just the wind whistling through this old house? Or is there something on the other side of the wall? Huh. Remember that for later. Much later. Okay, is there anything over here that we can mess with? Tablets and incense burners and altar covered by a layer of dust. Yeah, no one's messed with this in a while. Oh, look, another item. Old book on top of a kimono and its damaged chest. Okay, pick it up. Notes on the camera obscura. This device is most dangerous. thousand hands of death. I was actually still a little cheesy. <laughs> Didn't quite get it. The camera obscura. Didn't that thing explode at the end of the first one? Spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If I spoil the bit. Oh. Is there anyone there? <laughs> Say spoilers after you spoiled it? Yeah, where'd he go? Oh. Hello? <laughs> Someone has some heavy footsteps. Camera Obscura, a bellows-type camera. It looks even older than the torch. This must be the Camera Obscura. Yes, this is the Camera Obscura. The, ah, what the heck? Okay. The Camera Obscura was invented by Dr. Kinihiko. Also, in order to capture things... Oh, Aso? What? Yeah, Kinihiko Aso. My bad. In order to capture things that only exist in the spiritual realm, residual thoughts and memories from the past, spiritual beings that cannot ordinarily be seen, all revealed with the camera obscura. The camera obscura has been known to have an exercising, exercising effect on the things that it captures, that which should not exist, and yet it also has some kind of connection with them. Misuse of the camera can easily lead to one losing their souls to the spiritual beings. I have brought the camera to Min Minakami Village to photograph its hidden ceremony and the place where its participants gather to perform it. I do believe I am more excited than Dr. Oso himself about what may be revealed. 
Seijiro Makabe. A camera that can photograph that which should not be exist. Yeah, yeah, it's from filming it. Type 14. Alright, so the camera here, let's see, we can use... Yeah, I know, it's the camera obscure. And I believe you hit the B button. Or, the, yeah, is that the B or Z? Yeah, it's the B button. And you actually have to use the remote to aim up and down. Like, you, you have to move the remote in the area you want to, you know, point the remote where you want to see. Which uh, can be a bit frustrating. Uh, honestly, in 4, I got a bit annoyed at that. But you get used to it after a while. Herbal medicine. Yeah, alright. Hopefully I won't use as many as I did last time. Oh, God. Oh, God, what's in there? It seems like something's in there. Let's take a peek. Wow, you couldn't do this. I love this. These little touches are amazing. Oh, it wouldn't let me pull up the camera obscura. Was that... That was weird. It said press B for camera obscura. But you saw someone strangling somebody back there. But, uh... Well... I'm kind of worried. What awaits us behind this door? Find out next time on Fatal Frame 2. Ah, I, I thought I'd end it like that today. <laughs> Take care, guys.